Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn Hindi and we are also here because we want to learn Urdu. We are learning both. We are, we are going to learn how to read and write Hindi as well as Urdu. Today, uh, today is our day number five and today we'll start the second matra. We learned the Aki matra and we spent the first four days learning how to write simple words using just Aki matra and in the process we learned some letters. We learned about 22 letters already. Today we're going to learn few more and today we're going to learn the second matra, the Iki matra. Iki matra, it has two sounds, short E and long E. The short E of course is called the Choti E, the small E and Badi. Badi Iki matra, Choti Iki matra. Let's begin, shall we? The Choti Iki matra, the one that makes a short sound, one that makes a short sound of B, Choti matra, it takes a symbol underneath the letter called Zer. This is only for Urdu obviously. In Urdu, if you want to have a Choti E, Whatever the letter is, like for example right here, Be, underneath the Be, you put a little symbol, and this symbol is called Zer. This symbol is called Zer. And the Zer turns the B, otherwise this Be would make a B sound, it turns the sound of B into a B, short B. And in Hindi, you take your B, just like here, like here you take your B, and you have to put a line to the left of it, to make it a short E. Similarly, P, if you put a Z underneath it, it becomes P. You make your P and you put the line to the top of the left of it. Same thing with D, this is Dal, which makes a D sound. You put a Z underneath it, it becomes a D. If you want a long sound, long E, as in B, English word B, as opposed to this B, to B, and this B, the honey B. There's a longer B sound, it's an E sound in, in both the cases you have E sound, but this is a longer one, B and B. B, if you want a longer sound of B, it's called Badi Iki Matra, and Badi Iki Matra takes a letter, takes a letter called Choti Ye. That's right. If you want a Badi Iki Matra in Hindu, you take an Urdu letter known as Choti Ye. We learned it on day number three, we learned Choti Ye and Badi Ye. Choti year looks like this, just like that. It takes a choti year and you put it along with the letter and it becomes B. For example, B, B plus choti year, when you combine them, it looks like this. B and the choti year becomes B. And you write this Hindi letter B and the, the stick goes to the right. Similarly, P plus a choti year will become P. Again, P and to the right. Same thing with Dal plus Choti Ye becomes D. And again to the right. Let's begin. Let's write some word. There are a couple of things we have to take care of. One thing that we, that we did not take care of it here is we have the B and the P and the D. What about the Alif? What about the A? Uh? Let's talk about it, shall we? We need the room, so I'm going to do it on the top. Let's do it on the top on this side and that side. So listen very carefully, okay? In Urdu, is very simple. It's the same rule applies. Whatever whatever you did to be, pe, de, che, whatever it is, you take your alif and you put a line underneath it. But in Hindi, listen carefully, in Hindi you have to put a stick to the to the left hand side. So do you take your a, uh, that's the a, uh, do you do this to make it e? The answer is no. That is wrong. In Hindi, they have a unique letter to represent this sound, the sound that is made with Alif and Azair, the letter that they use looks like this. It looks like this. This symbol makes an E sound. Similarly, in Urdu it's very simple. You take a wa, uh, you take a choti ye next to it and it becomes E. So to make a A uh into an E is very simple. You take your Alif and you put a choti ye next to it and you're done. That's E in, in Urdu. But in Hindi, they do not, we do not, we do not write a, uh, and then since these are going to the right, we don't just do this, this will be wrong. In Hindi, they have a unique letter to represent the sound of e, the long e. Uh, and that looks like this. It's just like that. 
as you can see so far the symbols are the same except Bari has this symbol on the top you put that extra bit, extra bit of piece and becomes Bari E now we can begin now we're going to write some words and see what happens we need the room obviously the second thing we have to take care of is that if you recall from day number three when we learned the when we learned the letter Ye 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 is called Ye Choti Ye and Badi Ye in Urdu when we learned the letter Choti Ye and Badi Ye we learned that when either of these two letters Choti Ye or Badi Ye appear in the middle of the word in the middle of the spelling as opposed to at the very end if it appears in the middle or in the beginning it takes this shape it takes the shape of this you make a little circle like this, open circle, half circle, and two dots underneath it. This is this is your year when it appears in the middle of the word. You have to remember that. Okay, let's get going. Now we are ready. So word first, the first two or three words we will write, it will have E and E. For example, here, let's begin. The very first one we have here is right here. I'm going to first write in Urdu. So here we go, you see, Alif Zabar E. Alif Zabar E is this sound, this letter right here. This is E, short E. E and then Noon, Na, In, so far we have In, then Seen, then we're going to write a Seen, and we know how to write Seen. Seen it goes like this, and then you join it with just, this is your scene, and when you join it with alif, you take two of these, and then you have to have a third one, it becomes a sa. This is our sa. So, we have in sa, in sa, no, in san, in san. Let's write it in Hindi. I left myself no room here, so I'm going to write underneath it. So, this is the e part, this is the e right there, e. No, oh, no, not a more. We need a no. In sa, no. There you go. In san. But as you can see, what takes what takes two symbols in Urdu, alif and azir. What takes two symbols in Urdu is done in Hindi with just one symbol. Let's do one. Let's let's do on this side. We will do the choti e, choti choti e in this side. Buddy in this side because that's how we started here. So here's the first example. Alif, Chodiye, Meme, Alif, and Na, uh, Noon. Let's see what we can do with it. So first of all, this Meme and this Alif are going to join, becomes a Ma. Huh? So that's a Ma. We already know that when Chodiye joins any letter, it has to change the shape. It's going to become It's going to become this shape. And then noon stays by itself. There you go. Again, we have to join them. So it becomes E. This is E. Ma. Na. Iman. Iman. Again, we have to write the body E, which looks like this. Don't forget the symbol on the top. It makes a body E. E. This Again, all of this part that you see here, this part represents Alif and a Chodiye, which we wrote here as this. That's what this symbol represents. E, Man, Iman. We have Insan, we have Iman. Insan, as you can see, is a very short E, Insan, and Iman. E is longer. Iman, Insan. Let's do the next one. Here's a simple one. I'm going to first write it in Urdu. Let's see what we can do. This is A. Uh. This is Sha. Sheen and Alif. Sha. This is Sha. This becomes a Sha. And then Re and Alif. Re makes a R sound. Ra. As you can see, right now it says Ashara. There is no such word as Ashara. There is no such word. There is a word in Hindi and Urdu called Ishara. Ishara as in hint. Ishara. So once we put a zero underneath, it becomes a becomes a e. 
and of course we can't do this that'll be damn silly because this is not Urdu nor can we nor can we do this to make to make a short E we have to write a symbol for E right there E Ishara there we go we're done Ishara that's it that's the word and in Urdu right here Ishara let's do one with the buddy E Alif, Ye, that's, that's going to make it E, Re and Alif, Ra, E, Ra, and then Nun, Iran, let's join them. So Alif and Ye, and then Re, E, Ra, No. So we need a Badi uh, we, we, we need a bad, uh, we need a E, Badi E, E, Ra, No. There you go. Let's do the next one. Ma. Let's see what does this what does this say? That's a ch. So we have a ma and then a ch. This is our ch, if you remember it. Ch when it's written in the whole form it looks like this. But when you're joining it, it looks like this, and then we have a sir. Machas. There is no such word. Machas, there is no word. We need a matra, we need an iki matra. Iki matra is going to appear here underneath che. When you put a zer underneath, it's called zer. When you put a zer underneath che, this che makes a sound. This zer makes, converts che sound, sound of che, into chi, short e. Not long E, short E. Maches. Ma, chi, sir. Maches. That's what we have to do here. We have to put an Iki Matra. That's the Iki Matra. We left it out. We left it out, Iki Matra, because that's why it was Maches. This is Maches now. That is same as this right here. Maches. Let's do the next one. Well, I don't mean the next one. I mean the next in the pair, because I'm doing in pair. This is Ze, it's called Ze, we learned it. We learned it somewhere right here. Number 13 on day number 2. Ze makes a Z. This is Z so far. Z Ra. So no, we are no longer dealing with this symbol and that symbol because now we have moved on from Aleph to some other letter. This is Z. z. So Z, Z. This is Z right now. We don't want a Z, we want a Z. So that makes a Z. Oh no, that's wrong. That is wrong. That is Choti. That is Choti Iki Matra. This is the Y. Z. Zira. Na Zira. Na Zira. Zira. Z. Ra. Zira is a spice. Zira is a spice. Let's do the next one. Ma, and then la, ma, la, no, ma, la, no. There is no such word. There is no such word as malan. What we need is milan, milan, me. Oh, I don't know why I left so much room here. What the room? What we need here is here, milan. We need to make a iki matra with ma, milan. This ma takes a zir. Milan. I thought your matra was going to go under l. Milan. Let's do the next word here. Let's see if you can read this one. For the next word that we're going to learn, uh, that we are about to learn, that we are about to see, we'll have to learn a new letter. Let's first learn the letter before we. Because I'm going to raise this part so that we can actually write the word. The the letter that we're about to learn is this letter right here. It looks. It just looks like just like ray. It looks just like ray, but it has a symbol on the top like this. The symbol looks like this. It's like a letter B. It's like a letter B. It looks like that. And this symbol is, this letter is called R. In Hindi, they have a equivalent letter called R. And the symbol, this letter itself is called R. 
is called Ray. Let's learn this letter, which is what we have here for today. Number 23, Ray. Let's see what we can do with it. Here. P, Y, P, and Ra, P up. And that's, that's a yeah, so we need a bigger, uh, we, we need a bari ki matra. So we need per, p, and then we need ra, p, ra, pido. Let's do one more using the same, using the same letter. Ba, ra, and then bari ki matra. Be, re, and choti. The sav is red. Be, re, and choti. In Hindi, it will be badi ki matra. This is choti. In Hindi, the sound that it's going to make is called badi ki matra. Ba, ra, badi ki matra. Ba, ba. This is our ra. We just learned it. Ba, re, badi. You see, it goes to the right. It goes to the right. If it takes. If, if it takes a choti ear, it takes a choti ear, it makes a longer E sound, it makes a longer E sound. If it takes a choti ear, right here is a choti ear. If it takes a choti ear, it has to go to the right. The matra, iki matra has to go to the right. That's bari iki matra. Let's do the next one. Next one is very simple. Should I leave it there or, or get, it, get rid of it? Let's do the next one, shall we? Very, very straightforward. As you can see, there is no such word. There is no such word as done. There is no word. But there is a word called din. Din as in day. You put a zair next to it, it becomes a din. And now we have to put a matra. Din. To the left. Because it's a choti ki matra. Let's look at one more. There is no such word as dull. We we'll have to fix it. How should we fix it? Any idea? There is no word dull, but there is a word called dill. Dill as in hard. There you go. Dill. We did din. We did din. We did dill. We did milan. We did buddy. Here's another one. Here's one more. Pa, pe, ra, pera, or pira rather, pira, pira, pi. It's a badi ki matra because we have a choti ear here. Badi ki matra, pi, and ra, we just learned it. Pira. Let's do one more. Let's do one more word using the same letter. Ra. Ba. Ra. And E. Buddy. Ba. Ra. E. Buddy. We don't have... Oh, right here. No, we, we don't have it. We had it on the blackboard when we talked about Buddy Iki Matra. That's how we wrote it. Buddy. This this is this is buddy. Let's do one more. Now I'm gonna erase it because we already know this letter we already know the letter. R, so we can have more room. Let's look at this one. Let me first let me first write each letter separately. Jim, this is called Jim. Shortie. Wow. And noon. So right away we know that because it takes a choti here, this is going to take a badi ki matra. So let's write the j. So this is j, and then badi ki matra, g. That's a vowel. That's a ver. So that's just ver, and this is no. And this is g. All we have to do is write write them in the other order. G, not not b. This is this is a b. This is not a ver. G. G1. G1. Oh, but how do we how do we put them together? That's very simple. You take this out and replace with this. 
and you take this out and put a short form which is this. Now we join them. Jim, ye, wow. There we go. This is how it's written. Jiva. Jiva. Just do one more. Te, choti ye, kaf and alif. Kaf and alif are going to go together because that's aki matra. That's going to make it ka. So that's very straightforward. That's just going to make it ka. How do we write T? No, we write T with a choti. This is choti, yeah, so it's going to take badi ki matra. T. But it's not ka T. It's, it's Hindi, so we have to write it this way, not the other way. So it's going to be like this. T ka. T ka. Now let's put it together in Urdu. So this is going to take a shape of this. This is going to look a little bit smaller and we have to put them together. And when we join the calf and the alif, the calf and the alif is going to look like this, ka. So it's going to be tika. That's how it looks. Tika, right there. Let's continue. And now I'm going to pick up a little speed a little bit because if I keep going at this pace, it's going to become very, very long. Let's see if you can learn this one. This is Lam, Kaf, Lak, Re, and Yi. Lak, Re. Lak, Re. Lak, and then Re. This is Re, it becomes Re. Lak, Re, as in piece of wood. How will we put them together? This calf, this lamb is going to look like this, then the calf, this is the lamb, that's the calf, and then you join the ray and show to you. Luckily, piece of wood. Let's do one with a choti iki matra. This is the badi iki matra. Let's do one with a choti iki matra. Let's see if we can handle this one. What does it say? Kasan. Kaf, Sin, Alif, and then Noon, Kasan. There is no such word, Kasan. There is no word, Kasan. We are missing the Iki Matra, Choti Iki Matra. We have to put a Zer underneath it. If you put a Zer underneath it, it becomes Kisan. Kisan is in farmer. Let's keep on going. See if you can do this one. Dal, chotiye, pe, and then kaf. Deepak, deepak. This two parts together is going to look like this. D. Then we have a po and a ka. That's all. D with badi ki matra. D, po, ka. Deepak. This two one with a choti iki matra. So, ta, ra. So, ta, ra, satar. There is no such word. We're missing the matra. We don't need a sir, we need a si. We need a zer underneath it. Si ta ra. Sitar. Sitar. Let's do one more. Be. Ye. That makes B. And since it's a chodi ye. Since it's a ye, we need a badi ki matra, so that's B, and then Meem and Alif are going to join, it's going to become Ma, and then we need a Ra, B, Ma, Ra, Bimar. Let's put them together, shall we? Let's put them together, Bimar. 
B Ma Ro Bimar. How do we put them together in Urdu? Well, this is very straightforward. B and Ye. And this meme goes like this, but when it's about to join, we have explained it many times before that it starts from the top, but when we are when you know that you're going to join something, you have to start at the bottom. So let's watch again how we, how we do it. Here's the B and then ma, ma and ro. Bimar. One more time. B ma ro. You have to know where we're going with the word until the end. We don't stop every second to put darts and so forth. You have to keep on going because you have to know what you're writing. Bimar. Let's see what we have next one. No. The. Yeah. No. The. Yeah. It only has the Aki matra. That's the first problem. It only has the Aki matra, the Alif here. The Aki matra. Not only that, but it's not a word. Nadia. Nadia is not a word. Nadia is a word. Nadia. Nadia is in river. Nadia. Choti ki matra. Nadia. The next one. Let's do the next one. Let's see what we can do here. Che, Chodiye, Noon, and Chodiye. How are we going to join them? This Chodiye is not going to do anything at all. It's going to keep its shape because it comes at the end. This one is going to take a shape of this thing. And this guy is going to take a shape of this one. And this is going to stay the same except it's going to be smaller. Chi, so that's the first one, it takes a, it has a, it has a choti here, which means the badi ki matra. Chi. Chi. And then noon. And the choti here. Chini. Chini. What does that mean, chini? It has two meanings. Chini can mean, chini can mean sugar. Or it can also mean Chinese. Because China is called Chin in Hindi and Urdu. And one from China is said to be Chini. Chinese. Let's look at this one. Na. Ro. Yo. Lo. Na. Ro. Yo. And then Lo. So far it says Naril, the way it's written. It's not Naril. This this thing does not this Y does not belong to this ray. If if this Choti A belonged to this ray, then we would have a matra on 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 on, on row. It's nar re. This this ra has to have a matra, zer, nari, nari, yell, nariel. Nariel is a fruit. Nariel, I forget what it's called in English. Nario. Let's do the next one. Let's see if you can read it. So, ro, that's a car, sorry, car, ro, and then e, or choti, sarkari. Sir, ka, re, badiki matra, sarkari. Let's see if we can do this one. Next one. Te, noon, and then calf. This is a calf and alif. This part is calf and alif. Calf plus alif. Ka looks like this. So that's ka. This is te. This is na. Te. Na. Ka. Tanka, there is no such word. Tanka is not a word. What we need is zair here. We need a zair and then it they stay with a zair. The ta turns into a ti. Choti ki mata. Ti. T. 
Tinka. Tinka. Let's do one, two more actually. Last two one. The last two words that we're going to do, last two words we're going to do, will have both the matra. They will have both choti ki matra and badi ki matra in the same word. Let's look at the first one. Olives there e, olives there e. So we need this thing. E, not the badi, not this one. That would that that would have made it this. That would have made it this. We don't need this. We need e choti. E, ma, this is ma, meme, and this is our alarm, this is our alarm, and then li. Imli, imli, e, ma, li. As you can see, this is badi ki matra. So it has the choti ki matra in this thing, in this e, this e is the choti e. And this is the body. It has both matra. It, we have a choti ki matra because we have a zeer, and we have a body ki matra because we have a choti body 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 a body body here. Body here is this card right here. Is this guy right here? And this this whole thing, this whole thing, right there. Let's do one more. Very last one. Again, a word contain, containing both choti ki matra and badi ki matra. Shall we? Here's the word. See if you can read it. Oh, we have not learned this word actually. We, we have not learned the letter yet. We have not learned the letter yet. We have, these are the letter here. They come in three different forms. We already, we already came across this one. This is called hey. But they all call he, he, or it comes in this form. This is called he, or it also comes in this form. When the time comes, we have not learned them yet, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But they, all of these three letters, obviously, are used in different places to, to make the spelling correctly. But they all make the same sound. They make a sound of her, and all of them, they all have the same name. They're called he, and they make a her sound. Now we are ready to write the very last word. So this is her right here. This is her. No. D. Hand. So far it's a hand. You can make a choti ek, badi choti choti ek ma choti ye. So it becomes. Let's put it on this side so we have room. Her. No. D. It has several things wrong with it. First thing is that in Hindi, this no sound, if it is quick, it's not ha no d. It's han, han. It's not even han. What it is, we'll see in a second. But whatever it is, the no sound is very quick. When the no sound is very quick, it not, does not make a whole m. It only makes half a m. It only makes half a n. And this guy has to go and join this guy. So I'm going to rewrite it because they're too far apart. I'm going to rewrite it. Her. No. D. But what the bloody hell is her na D? It's not her. They're missing it. As I told you, this word has both choti ki matra and badi ki matra. We have the badi ki matra. Where is the choti ki matra? Choti ki matra is going to come here. It's not a her. This thing, we don't need a her. We need a zer underneath it. It's he. And now it reads he, him. That's why it's half an n. The reason why it's half an n is because it doesn't make a whole sound of n. Hin. It's not he na. Hin. Hindi. There you go. That's what we are here to learn. We are here to learn Hindi. When the time comes, when we learn uki matra, we'll learn how to write Urdu. We don't know right now how to write Urdu because we have not learned Uki Matra. Today we learned the Iki Matra so we can write Hindi. Hindi. This is a correct form. There is nothing wrong with it. This is this is perfectly fine the way it's written. Other way, listen very carefully, the other way you can tackle when the N is appearing just half, not the whole sound, is to write like this. 
you write your he and this n that you have here half n is represented by simply a dot and that dot tells the reader that it has a partial n sound this is not a he it is hin that dot tells me that it is a hin not he hin and then I write my d hin voila I don't know why I'm writing in English, that's stupid. In Urdu, how do you write it like this? He, no, di. In Urdu, we don't have half, half letters. In Hindi, they have half letters all the time. In Hindi, in Urdu, we do not. Even though have, the N is pronounced very quickly, we still have to write the whole N. Hindi, Hindi, that was it. We're going to call it end of the show. We'll meet again tomorrow. And I'm debating whether or not I have more example of Iki Matra, uh, Choti Iki Matra and Bari Iki Matra. I have few more words. I'm debating whether whether I want to make another video right away, right after this one, dealing with Choti Iki Matra and Bari Iki Matra. Or perhaps it'll be more interesting if we start another Matra, Uki Matra or Oki Matra. And then we'll come back and do a few more examples of Iki Matra down the road. We'll see. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.